today and there has been a change in the air. <laughs> we knew this was coming, but boy is it exciting. Um, it is about 58 degrees right now and I'm wearing a jacket and I'm actually like shivery cold. I'm contemplating possibly having Jason run back to the room and switch my jacket out for a sweatshirt. We will see. That might be crazy, but anyway, um, we are sitting down by the boardwalk. Jason just went over to the boardwalk bakery because we mobile ordered a couple of muffins and some orange juice for breakfast. It is like, I'm not sure what time it is. It's a little before 10 and we can probably get into Epcot through the International Gateway around um, 10.30. 1040 something somewhere in there it park technically opens at 11 so we're gonna eat and then we're gonna head over there and enjoy a day at Epcot I think it's really gonna be fun to be there for with the festival and all the different foods to try and all of that when it's so nice and cool and comfortable and we want to be outside so yeah <laughs> welcome to completely different Disney World than we had yesterday let me give you an awesome view of the boardwalk right now And of course there's one of these, you know, anytime there's food, these weird white Disney birds, they show up. We're not giving you any of our muffin, dude. <laughs> you know, would you think you're just alone eating your breakfast? Yeah, we've got one white one. We got a, like a we got, ray, oh, look over your shoulder. Please don't say over my shoulder without telling me that he's not actually hovering over my shoulder. He's on the chair behind you. Oh, will you scare him away? Cause this is freaking me out a little bit. <laughs> He's too close. <laughs> he is too close. <laughs> Look at all these little balls. Okay, he needs to go. Like I'm not, I'm not being silly. He needs Get to go. Get out of here. Shoot. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Get up and swash at him or something. This. <laughs> The white one who are they're usually the he's most very, aggressive. Very, uh, patient. He is being very calm and he is just hanging out. This one is creeping <laughs> the bejeebers out of me right now. <laughs> and then there's these little ones and they are everywhere and sometimes they climb right up on the table. Thank you. What are we trying? 
trying. So finally trying the maple popcorn. Maple popcorn from Canada. There's a cavalcade that just went by, which is why the music is so loud. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's really good. And it's gorgeous. We're it's, sitting in the sun. We're sitting in the sun. In fact, we actually yeah, nice went into the green. festival building and it was like a, a mildly boily in there because yeah. they had the heat on. So that's a good sign. What are your what are your thoughts on the maple hop popcorn? Uh, it wasn't that great. No. It wasn't mapley. It smelled really good. But then the taste was just kind of whatever. I thought the pieces that were coated tasted pretty maple-y. I'd probably just get a regular popcorn. Yeah. I rated it a six. Because I thought the four. pieces... Oh, four. So, you know, you hear about the maple popcorn. I, I kind of like to try all these things so that people hype up. So our opinion about the maple popcorn is maybe skip it. You don't need it. I don't think so. Mm-hmm. It was six bucks or something. If which you want popcorn, that's fine, but it doesn't really add much to it. No. It smells really good when I'm yeah, up there. Yeah, it smells amazing. But, but other than that, yeah. when I eat my food, I just don't smell it. <laughs> the camera is like wind being windblown from my hand, which reminds me, we missed a, a very vloggable moment this morning when Remy almost oh, yeah. ran away. Yeah. So yeah, we have on your shoulder. We have shoulder shoulder Remy with us today, and we were walking on the boardwalk. Oh, Pardon the trash talk that just walked by. Um, we were walking on the boardwalk and a gust of wind blew him off my shoulder and he went. He was rolled <laughs> down the board. I started hollering because I, I thought he was going to have to run after him. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to go into this port of entry shop here and look around and then see what we get up to next. You'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. There's sight, sound, ah, smell, touch, coochie coochie go, and taste. Taste my chicken. Can I go, please, please, please? No, I don't want you out of my sight. Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. Things we see with our eyes can control the eyes of the imagination. Uh, let's begin by using the eye chart to test your vision. Now, all together, if you would please read line three. <laughs> With M I G M G N T, you can see things differently. <laughs> sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you could see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing figment. What's part of light? Can't light your fancy. Your mind sees more than what your eyes see. Our research shows that smells often trigger the imagination, especially when pleasant, familiar smells come to play. Come into play? <laughs> I'd love to! Segment, this is not a good time. It's always a good time to use your imagination, so let the good times roll! Your mind defines what enters through your nose. That's how you tell a skunk is not a 
And so, as you can plainly see, imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc! Imagination is a blast! Checking in from the Germany Pavilion. It is 64 degrees out right now, according to my phone. Beauty. It's amazing. I bought a new shirt. I'll show you better tonight, but. It's from the Norway Pavilion. It's ginormous. It's five, size 5X. Ooh, they had three, four, five X in there, so I bought that because it's long, it hangs on me almost like a dress. But it's so comfortable. Trying to talk somebody into going and getting a Helly Hansen coat. <laughs> we know he wants it. <laughs> Plus, this world just came crashing down on him because he bought this coat called from Cool, K U H L brand. Yep. And he went to look up and see like how much they cost by comparison, and I found out. That. Oh, I thought I you were just looking up to see where they're from. Oh, where they're from? Yeah. And uh, where were they from? Which exotic locale? Utah. <laughs> <laughs> They were from Utah. So that's, I thought they were uh, foreign, but I guess not. Doesn't seem quite as... They fool you with the umlauts over the U. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't seem quite as quite as amazing, but they are. it is nice stuff. I, yeah, I love it. Yeah. We've been stuffing our face full of treats today. So we've had the muffin this morning on the boardwalk. Um, troll horn. Popcorn, maple popcorn. Popcorn, yeah. A troll horn, a giant chocolate chip cookie, and lefsa at the Kringla Bakery in Norway. Yep. And that is it, and it's 3.30 in the afternoon, and I have a headache, uh -oh. and a Winnie the Pooh rumbly in my tummy. So I think we need to find some actual food. It's not super easy at Epcot if you don't like the festival foods. Yeah. Right now, because the quick service places are all closed. So you either need to make reservations, because almost all the table service places are open, or you have to eat at the little kiosks. We'll oh. figure something out, but... Anyway, I should give you a quick little pan of Germany here. Seems fairly light crowds today. Yeah. Heavier over here than in Future World, but still very light. Yeah. Whoa! It's more me than you wanted to see today. Where are we? We are at the Regal Eagle again. Again. Back to it. I just can't. I we love it here. Yeah. What do you think? It's such good food. I so went simple. I just got the yeah, mac and cheese simple. and some garlic bread. I got the cheeseburger again, but this one has an onion ring on top, obviously. Yeah, the barbecue burger. The barbecue burger, yep. It's got some aioli, and then underneath it's got some um, pork, some pulled pork. And then I got a little bit of the sweet barbecue sauce that I'll put in there. And a berry punch. A berry punch and some baked beans. I'm looking forward to trying something a little bit different. Let's see how you like it. Right. Should I try it? Well, I'm not going to let you film me trying the burger because that's going to be ridiculous and messy. Oh, that was the fun part. <laughs> oh, okay. Those are good. Yeah. A little bit sweet, a little bit tangy. You like this? Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, it's all Remington approved. Yep. So we're good. Let the record show. He only turned this on because I took a bite and got barbecue sauce all over my chin. <laughs> and he's hoping I'll do it again. We need to get a, a taste test. Oh. Mm. What do you think? Delicious. It's got a little bit of aioli in the burger. And then there's pulled pork. And then I poured in a little bit of the sweet barbecue sauce. Delicious. Hello. Just me right now. I am sitting in the Japan Pavilion. It's 5.05 p.m. 
can see a little Remy here on my shoulder. If you can see, I'm back in my sweatshirt. <laughs> it is cold. I was actually just gonna pull up um, the weather app on my phone and see what the temperature is right now because it was too cold for me to have just that Norway shirt on. Um, okay, so it says that it's 63, feels like 62, but I don't know. This feels chillier than 63 to me. Um, I'm sitting in the shade, which is probably part of it. Um, there's not, there's a little bit of sunlight left, really blue sky. Um, and it's still looking like tomorrow's gonna be 66, so amazing. Um, I just sent Jason off, well, sent him off. He's been looking at the um, Helly Hansen jackets at the Norway Pavilion, and they're not cheap, but he wears these kinds of jackets all the time. I mean, we live in Minnesota, so we wear winter jackets, and he likes, you know, the really nice, good quality jackets. And so I keep bugging him about getting one every time we're here, and I finally just said, you know, this is perfect because you might even be able to wear it a little bit now. Go get a jacket. And he finally decided he's going to, or he's at least gonna go look and see if they have um, whatever one turns out to be his favorite, see if they have it in his size. Otherwise, maybe we'll look to order one at some point, but. I am sitting in Japan, so we just, we had the Regal Eagle Smokehouse, which we showed you. Delicious, but I'm so full, and I did not want to walk all the way back to Norway, so he was looking for a restroom anyways, and Norway has a restroom. There's lots of restrooms at Epcot, but I kind of used that as an excuse. Well, if you need to do that anyway, you might as well go to the one in Norway and get yourself a Helly Hansen jacket, so we'll see if he comes back with one or not, um, but yeah, it's... It's a little, it seems a little bit busier right now, like if I show you the crowds here, but I don't know, overall it's really light today. So let me just give you a quick pan around the Japan Pavilion. back in the back area of the UK pavilion and they have all these cute like art pieces there's steampunk thing there yeah beauty and the beast and there's snow white sleeping beauty looks like there's a donald duck one way in there and something else oh maybe mulan Let's see if i can yeah like a mulan drawing this is back like, so over here is the pavilion where they used to sing. And then here are some of the buildings. All of the stores are closed right now, but this one main store that starts with Twinings um, has like broken down into little departments. So basically you can still see a little bit from each of the shops. They're just kind of broken down into little tiny segments, but yeah. It's really nice back here. There's tables and stuff and nice little place to chill. Where are we? We're at Tui signs all lit up. Oh, we are on the Skyliner. Oh, hi. <laughs> Soon we'll be flying Skyliner past Disney Boardwalk. Boardwalk Inn there it is. and Disney Ooh, there Boardwalk it is. Villas. This charming lakeside resort offers magical lounges, enchanting restaurants, and live entertainment on the Boardwalk every evening. That's the Tower of Terror. So oh, we got a nice clear one so you can film it. We were on our way back to our resort to just chill for a little bit and then come back out later and the Skyliners were back up and running so who doesn't want to ride the Skyliners on a cool night? Well this gal sure did. I did and then I think we're going to go all the way to Pop Century and Art because he's never ridden that length of line of that line of the Skyliner before so yeah here we go.
sunset to Skyliner action at the Pop Century Resort, looking, looking at our animation. We're just chilling at the Pop Century Resort. <laughs> Decided to take the Skyliner out here and it's kind of fun. Happy Dippy, there's the classic hall. That's the main Okay, thing. so it's the next building was the one we stayed in. You um wanna, huh? You wanna go all the way over there then? Well Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm trying to relive my October trip that I took with Molly. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fun to be here at night. Yeah. And when it's nice and cool out. It's very but quiet and peaceful, kind of surprisingly. Yeah, very surprisingly. It was the 50s. Yeah, we were definitely in the 50s. It's 1959. Alaska and Hawaii. We stayed here once before too. We did not love it. No. But oh. that's a whole big story. Basically, we got stuck <laughs> with the uh, Pop Warner. Little kids football. Yeah, football teams. No noisy, relation to Pop Central. Noisy, noisy, noisy. We are back at the room, and someone wants to show you his new purchase. Helly Hansen jacket. Helly Hansen. I really like it. It's nice. A little, uh, Show all the features. Got a little pocket right there. Pocket there. Got two pockets there. It's just a uh, little uh, insulate. Yeah, it's thin but warm, thin, right? But, uh, insulated, yeah. I see that up by your neck it actually says Helly Hansen in red. Um, your hand's on it right now. Get your hand out of there. Yeah, right there. Helly Hansen in red. You got that? Yep, on the arm. On the back too. Yep, on the back it says Helly Hansen in white. It's really a sharp looking coat. Yeah, I like it. And how much was it? 170. Well, we got $34 off for the annual pass, so. Nice. With tax, 144. Nice. That's really not bad for a really nice coat like that. So. You know, you pay that much for North Face, Columbia, those coats. Yeah. The discounted price, anyway. I feel a little warm now. Yeah, we're back. I look a little bit less terrifying now. I was gonna check the time real quick. 7.32, so it's pretty early night. Um, we just got back from taking the Skyliner over to Pop Century. Which you saw. Yep, an art of animation. And what did we decide? We uh, don't wanna stay valued. <laughs> oh, kind of a zoo over there. And to be I fair, it. I was just stayed there in October with my sister and it we had- It was way a, worse. It, it was way worse, the crowds inside the building and stuff but we had a great time the room was nice it, there is nothing wrong with these resorts no. at all so we're just we're being we're being kind of silly I mean why I, I just want to make it clear that we're not we don't actually have disdain for people who no, stay in those we would either easily stay happily there. yes we're just feeling extra specially blessed I think is yeah. the way to put it that we've been able to do this so again I've mentioned a million times I'll put the link in the description box of every one of our Disney videos for David's DVC rental because Definitely recommend. We don't pay that much more to stay at these resorts for a week than you would pay to stay at Pop Century. So, you might so. have seen this already. Yeah, we yeah. did show you this. I did show you this, but. Our second Norway shirt yes. on this trip. So it's a, it's got like a zip up here. It's kind of a sporty looking one. It's probably a guy's shirt really, but um, it has the Norway flag on the arm and then the, the design here kind of like the, pavilion there there's no other design on it it's very thin material almost like a runner type yep. shirt and this particular size is 5x it's massive I mean it hangs down on me but it's really was really comfortable and that's what I wanted it for but I just wanted to make kind of note that because I don't know how many people are four and five you know size four and five X's um, but I know I am in some things and 
I've, we've never seen much over a 3X here. The occasional four. Disney only does like three, right? Uh, well, Disney Online goes up to four. Oh. But in the, parks, in the parks, in their threes. I think once or twice I've seen a random four. Probably something somebody bought online and returned. Um, but fours and fives. So, That's I mean, a, take a look, I guess. Third party yeah well because it was in norway but i didn't see these sizes in anything else they had i guess my advice would just be to ask or take a look at everything in these stores because you just never know when we you're gonna spend all our money in norway this trip we really did we really I did got a jacket you got two shirts and we got a a little magnet. uh yeah a little or an ornament basically ornament. yeah <laughs> no a magnet it was a magnet Mag yeah um okay and then we always like to get something for the festival when we come for a festival so this was nineteen ninety nine, but then we got our twenty percent pass holder discount. I think it's really cute. Pass holder ornament, or yeah, a little pass holder ornament. We're not usually super crazy about the festival design stuff, are we? Yeah. And that makes us sound really like they work so hard on these designs, but it's they're just usually not our thing. Um, but this I thought was pretty cute, and just so that we have something, and it has the year on it. And then this last thing I picked up in Mitsukoshi, it was one of those things, I saw it, it was adorable, and I just had to have it. It's a coin purse with hippos on it. Gray with pink hippos. In a cute. So that's in the Japan Pavilion. That was twelve ninety five, and Japan does not do um, pass holder discounts. Japan, China, and Morocco. I don't know about Morocco now, because they're... True. Morocco Disney is, is Disney is running them now, so I guess I'm not sure. Um, but Japan and China do not do annual pass discounts. Um, yeah, so that's the loot. That's it. That's yeah. the loot today. I don't anticipate a whole bunch more loot. Except for one thing which I discussed briefly while I was waiting for him to come back from Norway. And that is my $100 souvenir that I'll oh, be purchasing yeah, right. tomorrow. Ha! Just a hundred dollars. I did also. I did already mention it a little, but yeah, I decided to. I was joking that I was going to go get a lightsaber, but honestly, even if I wanted a lightsaber, the stress of getting that thing home last time, I can't do that again. So. It was easy though. <laughs> well, it was, and we are flying first class again this trip, so it whatever. But plus, I don't need a lightsaber, but I do love BB-8. BB-8 is the best droid. No. R2. Hands down, BB-8 is the best. Well, you're not going to make BB-8. I am going to make a BB unit, yeah. though. But I hope he's not orange. No, he won't be orange. Any color other than orange, honestly, would be fine. I don't want him to be BB-8. Yeah. So, we're doing that at 10 to 6. Yeah. Tomorrow night. We decided to pick a, a later one because we have a sci-fi reservation at 345, and we're hoping to get a Rise of the Resistance boarding group. And we've never had a boarding group that was that late. No. I'm going to imagine those are probably the groups that people get at 1 o'clock that are that late. So that way, hopefully, there won't be any conflicts. But anyway, the plan right now is just to chill here for a while. We may go back out to the boardwalk tonight. And if we do, we'll pick this back up. But otherwise, this will be good night. We'll All right. Out. Well, we said we'd come back if we did anything else. It's 9.32. Ooh, Someone has been super stuffy since like middle of the night last night, kind of, right? Yeah. I mean, all, today it wasn't bad, but um, it always well, happened. Like at night. middle of the night last night, he got up and took some of my Tylenol sinus. It's not, you don't feel sick. No, it's just like just sinus allergy yeah. stuff. And that helped enough for you to get some sleep. Now, tonight you took some and it didn't really do much. Yeah. And then he used the menthol shower bomb from Basin, which was nice, but it was nice. wasn't permanent help. So he at nine o'clock, <laughs> knowing the store closed at 9.30, I mean, I've got my pajamas on under my coat and I'm not even wearing a bra. Um, <laughs> we tore down to the, the screen door of the shop here yep. and they didn't have anything. So then he took off like a bullet over to the beach club. If I had gone with, we wouldn't have made it by the time the store closed. So he took off over to beach club. I got some Woo. Let me tell you, um, at least in this area, the beach club is where it's at because they helped you out last when time. yeah when molly and i came in october i have like digestion problems sometimes when we go on vacation and i use milk of magnesia if i struggle and usually i bring it with me but i had forgotten and we looked at our resort pop century we looked at a couple of others like on the monorail when we were there we couldn't find it anywhere and then the one morning we went over to beach club and sure shooting they had it so 
kudos to the beach. Yeah, if you're staying in this particular area, I would recommend that. You have a little bit more variety of uh, stuff. Yeah. And you still got the annual pass discount on this. Oh, nice. I didn't know they would do it on med medicine. No, and this is something you'll use anyway. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so that was our little adventure. And actually, it was kind of fun. I mean, I don't know if it was fun for you having to chug over there. Yeah, it was nice. But yeah, I, I sat on a bench and overlooking the boardwalk and took some pictures and it's really cool out. So it was, it was kind of enjoyable. All right, so, let's go relax. Yep, we're going to go relax for the rest of the night. But we thought we better just add this since we did technically get up to a little adventure tonight. So now is the official good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>